Hi guys, this is Norm. Here I am with an update on the Bradley co-op project that's going on. I'll try to make this short and uh, there's a lot of information to pass on uh, in reference my kit, which is the Tamiya ODS, which I'm converting into an M2A3 uh, era blocks or busk package. Okay, so first thing, the rear wall modification. I think the Academy and Tamiya kit, which are basically uh, of the same era, probably suffer from the same problem. The rear wall, as you can see here on mine, is one solid sheet with uh, the door, obviously. On the kit, the original part, which I'm going to share here on the screen, is uh, has this offset on either side. This offset was designed to replicate the space armor that's present at, in that location. Tamiya also added little um, I-beams on either side to add details, but it's not really real there. It's not, it's not there for real, okay? It, there's a, you see an electrical pipe or maybe a, a sump pump pipe of some sort of bilge pipe. But I followed the instructions from one guy online which basically shows exactly what to do and it worked out just fine a little bit of putty a little bit of sanding and then what you end up is a solid wall now what needs to be replicated is the little spacers on either sponson and then you have to add the wedges uh, of stock card to replicate the quarter inch steel times two okay there's two of them so uh, you glue it and then you add little spacers and then you glue another one on top make sure that all the angles are right and then add the ramp the ramp in my case uh, has two firing portholes on the back if they're vision portholes guys let me know but I think they are firing portholes they are no longer used okay uh, maybe on some that haven't been modified you can still see them but more, more and more you see them being uh, plated over with uh, a small square of steel plate. So I'll, that's what I'll do. I'll cut myself two little squares and basically glue them in place and add small, uh, maybe bold details or just a well bead all the way around. So that's the rear ramp and rear wall. The front glasses also needed to be modified in my case because I am shaving off the uh, swimming gear, which is a huge curtain that used to be on the outside of the vehicle in the early stage of the development of the vehicle and basically like if you know a DD Sherman tank they had this huge canvas uh, surrounding to enable a tank to float for the beach landing so that I'm shaving the uh, swimming gear off the kit and I had to plug these two areas where Tamiya had to open up their glasses in order to fit plate in place so that's been filled and patched and glued in place and Bob is my uncle okay so that's done for this uh, my resin applique armor I got about seven panels here and basically all of them are warped in warp and being bowed or supposed to be square but they're they're wavy they also suffer from shrinkage and shrinkage in resin is due to a bad mixture. Usually you're supposed to get a little bit of shrink, but not that much. Like I have like two millimeter or sometimes even five millimeter shrinkage. And when I put the plate in place, it's like you can see there's a big chunk missing and you're like, well, what am I supposed to do? So I'll use plastic card or evergreen styrene cards and I'll trace uh, a brand new one and once it's perfectly in shape I'll just glue it in place and steal or shave the bolt details off my resin ones and place them onto my plastic ones so more work but it's not the end of the world uh, the, the harder one are the ones on the roof which have very complicated outlines and uh, those I'll probably have to put uh, masking tape onto the roof and trace an outline of the, the roof and then cut a new plate. Um, side skirts. The side skirts on my kit are 
basically full of uh, plain plastic. Upper one is a one inch steel plate, which is okay. But the bottom part here is again space armor with quarter inch steel. Since I'm having era blocks all the way along the sides, you won't see the upper part of the applique armor here or spaced armor, but you will see the front and the rear. And for that, I've used, uh, if I can find it, try try tool saws. They're like laser etch, uh, basically uh, razor saws. And I slice the center and gave, it gave me this look of space armor. It gives me two plates. So I did that to both of them. And that should uh, replicate that look. And I don't have to buy a photo etch set for that. My era blocks are warped like almost one eighth of an inch. That's huge. There's a big spring to them on both of them. So I'll have to bait them in pretty hot water, not boiling, but very hot water. Let them accumulate the heat and then take them out and then hold them on a uh, hard and flat surface to coerce them in taking uh, their original shape. Okay, if somehow I could maybe douse them with very cold water at the same time, it would actually uh, give them memory and then I'll be able to let them go and they should stay in the uh, in the, the new shape or the original shape anyway. So it's too bad. It's a huge chunk of styrene, um, of resin. It's really hard to, uh, if I were to glue that onto the side skirts, it would actually bow the, the, the plastic. Plastic has no uh, strength in, in that uh, to fight that that kind of uh, springness. So that's about it for the progress. It's not really anything built. It's just a few pieces here and there. But I needed to fix the rear wall before starting the rest of the build. Okay, so that's it for me for progress. Uh, guys, uh, you can start right away. I'm Like I said, I'm still trying to find out what needs to be done or redone with mine so there's not really a build progress per se but it's just showing you the situation i'm in uh, there's a lot of tweaking when you merge older kits and resin kits and uh, when it starts to get assembled then i'll be able to show real progress you guys take care have a good weekend and norm signing off